sodium and kidney disease. Sodium chloride, that mineral that's added to foods that makes foods taste so, so good, but is so, so bad for kidney disease. Now sodium, whenever you hear sodium and kidney disease, high blood pressure, you're always told to restrict sodium. You should lessen the amounts of sodium in your diet. Now what are the recommendations on sodium for people with kidney disease? Let's talk about a few associations, what they recommend. The National Kidney Foundation recommends less than 2,300 milligrams per day of sodium. And they also recommend 1,500 milligrams may be more adequate for people with kidney issues, meaning that you get more benefit when you have less of sodium, and so you should try to get to that 1,500 milligram area, which is much better for you. Uh, Kidoki, the Kidney Disease Outcome Quality Initiative, which sets a lot of the recommendations for nutrition and kidney issues, they updated their last recommendations. They recommend no more than 2,300 milligrams a day, less than that, okay, less than 2,300. The American Heart Association says if you have high blood pressure, you should strive for 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. American Diabetes Association says if you got diabetes with kidney disease, you should strive for less than 2,300 milligrams per day. So we can see that the range for sodium recommendations for kidney issues is 1,500 to 2,300 milligrams per day. You wanna stay within those areas. Now, when you're looking at sodium intake, everything has sodium. Okay, I'm gonna show you just a bag here of, it's a bag of, of uh, baby spinach and spring mix blends, the salad, okay? And in this bag of salad, for two cups of salad, has 60 milligrams of sodium. So, when it comes to kidney issues, you wanna restrict sodium just about as much as possible because by even eating healthy, you're still gonna get plenty of sodium in your diet. You almost never need to use a salt shaker, okay, if you have kidney disease. Now, if you're new to it, if you're like I was and you, you're really accustomed to salt, you gradually begin cutting it down. In time, it will come down. But everything you have has sodium in it. Even if you're eating just fruits, vegetables, lean proteins are all gonna have some degree of sodium. Just a plain piece of chicken with nothing else on it has about 100 milligrams of sodium for about four ounces. Now, if you start adding in any commercial breads, crackers, oatmeal, uh, any other different foods, if you eat out somewhere, your sodium intake starts to increase pretty fast. The average slice of bread in America is anywhere from 150 to 300 milligrams of sodium per slice. So you can see that by just eating a healthy, good diet, you're naturally gonna be getting in good amounts of sodium so you don't need extra sodium in your diet you don't need to add the salt shaker generally unless you're being really strict okay and there is no better salt than another kind of salt so himalayan sea salt isn't better than regular table salt okay regardless they try to tell you it's got more minerals it has this but it's still sodium it's still gonna have the same effect on your vessel, so the same effect on your kidney. So I hope that clears it up for a lot of people. If you're new to this, you're gonna to have to look at labels, okay? Uh, reading a lot of labels to find out the sodium content. You'll eventually understand it quickly. And if you eat out, the sodium amounts are, are really high that you're getting it. So for example, I had a Thomason English muffin with uh, a tablespoon of butter. I ate it out. It was maybe a tablespoon, I don't know in the area, I'm guessing. Um, and right there is about two to 300 milligrams of sodium for that one item. Okay, so you can see that you just don't need the extra, the extra salt that comes from, a, you know, the salt shaker, right, for the most part. So thanks for watching, everybody, to your best kidney health. And it's, you know, if you do one thing, lowering your sodium has drastic benefits from reducing protein in your urine to helping your blood pressure, to helping swelling, to slowing down kidney disease. So that's the one thing that you can do. It just pays tons and tons of benefits. So thanks for watching, everybody, and check out our other videos. Bye.